Hey guys, how you doing? It is Echo and welcome to the brand new steampunk texture pack. Now I have spent the past one hour and a half recreating this. This is something that you see at the start of every texture pack. I put each block by block down just to show you in full great detail this awesome new texture pack. Now it is available for one dollar. It translates to I think 79p which is a massive bargain. Uh, hopefully you guys will enjoy this video. I'm going to be showing you all the blocks, all the items, all the mods including the ender dragon uh, I have the portal over here and I also have this amazing portal look at this I really really wanted to show you this guys because that is the never portal and look at the electricity effect now this is released today along with the free Halloween texture pack which I will be showing later on today as well so let's get into this I hope you do enjoy it be sure to smash that like button let's see if we can smash 800 likes on this video I know we've done it in the past and I know we can do it again so at the front here these are the skulls that we have so this is is uh, the skeleton, the wither skeleton, zombie, Steve and the creeper. Now I have fallen in love with the creeper on this texture pack because I think it looks really really cool. He's got like goggles on like a flyer type thing. Um, then moving on behind them we've got the uh, redstone features but this is just a normal button. This is the redstone itself. Uh, we've got the repeater, we've got the uh, redstone torch, more redstone, we've got the pressure plates, both of them which look really good as well and then we've got the normal lever and we've got just a normal block of oak wood. Now moving on to the backwards, this is in fact just a normal wooden fence. Now the wooden fence looks kind of brick stylish. Um, I think it looks really cool and this is the uh, the nether one over there as well. It's kind of like a mechanical texture pack and I'll explain to you in just a second why I think that but this is the door, the normal oak door. As you can see it's got like an ender pearl style on the door so awesome, uh, well, re well de detailed texture pack this one is. I can't fault anything in it. I'm loving the grass as well. I don't know why it just reminds me of a football field. It's in great condition. It looks really, really cool. Uh, and then moving to the right hand side, we'll focus on that side in a bit. Uh, these, these are various blocks. We've got the likes, these are the woods. These are the wooden blocks. Uh, that's just oak wood, I believe possibly um, jungle wood, spruce wood, uh, they're just completely different styles of wood as you can see the mechanics inside this one which looks absolutely magnificent. This is just a oak block, uh, oak wood block on the side. I placed it on the side so you can see the full detail in the middle and you can see like the, the mechanics that they've done like the cogs inside of it. Uh, we've got just normal fences here then we've got the stairs itself. Now look at like the hieroglyphics I believe it is on the sandstone block. This is just the stairs, uh, even more stairs around here and I'm loving the old style TNT based things. I think that's magnificent, uh, a really old retro style TNT block there. And uh, we've got more of the wooden stairs, wooden stair types. Um, I'm not, I can't remember what this is. It might be, I cannot remember. Some of the blocks I can't remember, but take a look at the enchantment table. Look how well detailed and bright and vibrant that is. I think that looks definitely one of the best blocks in this. Uh, this is the glass, it's circle. They made the glass circle. Uh, we've got the anvil. I believe this possibly could be a jukebox. I'm not too sure. See something I do forget. This is the crafting bench. This is the uh, end chest. Yes, it is. We've got a normal chest here, which have been very, very well detailed. Um, now this here is just a um, a painting that I put on the wall and you can see it just looks really, really cool. This is an item frame and an item frame. Now we're moving on to the beloved blocks. Oh yeah, by the way, on the bottom, these are the types of uh, wool that we've got. As you can see, they're all slightly different. I will go over them in a bit as well, but you can see the hieroglyphics on the side of the sandstone there. It's kind of like an old tomb. I really want someone to create like a tomb styled uh, design with this texture pack or maybe something like a Hunger Games. I think that'd be really cool. Uh, we've got the coal block, lapis lazuli block, Diamond, well this is the ore, sorry, a uh, diamond ore, redstone ore, iron ore, and gold ore, and this is the emerald ore, which is pretty cool as well. I'm, I can't remember what that is, let's have a double check what that is. That is the never quartz ore, wow, that's like bursting out. Um, so we've got the block of gold, the block of iron, block of lapis azui, block of diamond, and the block of emerald. So they're looking really smart as well. Now something I really like about this is these. Now these are the jack-o'-lantern, that's the jack-o'-lantern, and that's the pumpkin. Now it's like a very old style uh, scuba diver helmet. That's how I could like compare it to. Uh, we've got the watermelon, and we've got the sponge here, and in the background we've got a very hefty cactus there, which is dangerous. Um, now the water as well, I like the water effect, and this is the boat. Uh, I don't want to go near the boat because 
because I don't want to break it. But yeah, again, it looks very similar to the door. This effect seems to be throughout this texture pack, which I do like. I do like the way they've done that. It's very, very well detailed. The colors are matched really nice as well. And I don't know why I just like the dirt block. I think dirt can actually determine how good a texture pack is. Now this is the glowstone, which looks, I don't know, I, I like glowstone as well, it looks really fresh. Um, so this texture pack to me, it's kind of like an old style steampunk one, obviously that's the name of it, but it's like mechanical. Uh, that's the only way I can come across as it. I don't know I don't know why I like it, it's just something different, and I really, really, really have fell in love with the end portal. I haven't checked out the, uh, the, the other portal, I guess that's just the same, there's a few, no, it's exactly the same, but you can see the... Um, on the outside, that is the end portal frame as well. There's some animals somewhere. We will go and check out the animals in there as well as some of the other things I have placed down. Um, but just take a, a close look at them. You can see the hot bar is completely changed as well. So I'm going to grab some of the items. Uh, and first, I'm just going to go through the crafting uh, inventory in creative. And you can see that these are just some of the blocks that are available in this. This is what it just looks like in the uh, crafting recipes. So as you can see there, they're looking really cool. Let me know what block has stood out for you so far. Um, like I did say, we will go over some of the blocks in just a second, especially the uh, carpets and the wool blocks because they've changed to completely different. They're good for flooring in my opinion. Uh, we've got the rails there. We've got the likes of the minecarts, TNT, which I did say I enjoyed. Uh, we've got likes of diamond, coal, iron, which I have placed in the chest and we will go over in just a second as well. Here's the food, something a lot of people haven't checked out yet, but these are just some of the pages that you have. This is the armor and the tools and the weapons. Uh, I like this one. This one looks really cool, the leather cap. I like the way in the leather cap they do change it to look like something cartoony, which is great. Uh, this is just some of the brewing items and then we've got the miscellaneous, such as the eggs, the uh, um, the beds, the ender pearls, all that cool stuff in there. So yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy that part. Let's let's grab some of the uh, the wool things. I like these ones. I just really really do. Some of them have stood out for me. I like this one. Uh, these are the carpets. They are very similar as well. Now I have placed the carpets down here, which you can see. There's like mechanic style one. You've got like an old retro kitchen style one. Um, I like this one the best. These two along with like their old and wooden ones. And these are the slabs as well. So they're very similar to the blocks that we have placed up here. And I decided to place down all of the items just because it gives you a little bit of detail and you can see them in greater detail as well. So we've got the red wool, the orange wool, the yellow wool, the lime wool, the light blue, oh, the light blue wool, which I really like, the cyan blue, which I really like as well, as long as the normal blue. Uh, we've got the light gray one. Uh, let's see what other blocks we can grab. We've got these ones, which you did see it before, which I like a lot. These are the high, hieroglyphic type uh, sandstone blocks. What else is there? Normally, there's some of the blocks I like to check out. Let's see what we can. Oh yeah, we've got the signs. I placed some signs down here, which we didn't we didn't check out. Normally, we do. This is cake. This is cake right here. This is cake, cake, cake. This is a sign. We've got a cauldron here. We should fill this cauldron. I haven't checked out what it looks like. What's filled up? Uh, as you can see, that's the cauldron filled up. Uh, this is just another sign on like a normal block. And this is the bed. I like the bed. Nice uh, fresh bedding for a change. Something different to check out. Uh, what else is there we need to check out? I don't know. Oh, that's an animal. We'll check them out. These are like the blocks. We've got the uh, the mushrooms here. We've got the big massive rose red uh, rose. We've got the yellow dandelion. We've got some of the things that you are, are naturally growing. The uh, saplings. Um, what else is that? Oh yeah, I think this is the, what is this? When we find it, is it obsidian? No, it's not. I'm not 100% sure what that is. Where is it? Where's that block? Oh, it's this. It's just normal cobblestone. So that's gonna be a very popular block that you will see throughout this texture pack. Um, so yeah, let's see what else we've got. Over here, I have placed down some of the, um, uh, the items you can pick up, such as diamonds, we've got food here, we've got the armors, the weapons, and then a few like uh, enchanting things. Now I want to quickly wait for it to be dark because I want to see what the, the moon does look like. Uh, I haven't checked out what the moon does look like, but while we're doing that, we can check out one of these chests. So this is just the, um, the likes of the, the coal. We've got some diamonds here, some iron ingots. Uh, these are just some of the things that you just slime ball. Hmm, an egg. Let's grab some. Let's throw an egg. Let's throw an egg. Where's it gone? This isn't the egg. So the eye type thing has been used throughout. We've got the slime ball, we've got the nether brick, the brick, the nether quartz, the gold ingot. Uh, I like the way they've changed it to, to be like a cog. Uh, and now you see that effect throughout this texture pack. We've got the emerald, we've got the diamond. So yeah, they're looking really fresh as well. So you can check them out when you get the texture pack for yourself, which is something you guys should do, definitely. Uh, this one is the food. So we've got an apple, which has like, got a big uh, bite taken out of it. The golden apple, the god apple, 
the melon slices, and this is the cake again. You can understand which is the food. You can see that this is obviously a steak, the chicken, uh, that's the rotten flesh, so stay away from that. Uh, spider's eye, the potatoes, which I like. I like, I do like them. Come on, Moon, are you up? And there you go, there's the moon. As I did say, that effect has been used throughout this texture pack, which is great. It looks cool. It's just something uh, different to look at at nighttime. So I'm going to quickly sleep because I want to show you the other things in daylight and not in uh, the darkness. So let's quickly sleep in my fresh new bedding. And we'll show you the animals. I'll show you the portals, including the ender dragon. Uh, a lot of you guys do want to see the ender dragon. You always ask me to share the ender dragon. Um, so first I want to show you the armor. So here, this is the leather armor. Uh, I will put it on. In fact, I'll show you. I'll put them all on. Let me grab as many as we can. We've got the diamond there. Um, all right, we're going to put on the leather one first. So we've got leather. As you can see, this is my guy, Re Rob. Uh, it looks like a frog helmet or is it a creeper helmet? I'm not sure. It looks really cool. Uh, my guy is just repping the new leather armor. Uh, I want to put this back inside the uh, chest. I want to try and do them in single fashion. So let's just put that there, actually. And then we've got the diamond chain. All right, we'll go for the chain one first. So chain chain and chain so this is the chain armor um I don't, i'm not a big fan of this there's too many colors in it for me um, but i guess chain armor is something that you only get in creative anyway but it still looks really cool more stuff that you can mess around with uh, let's take this off and I want to put on my favorite one, which is the diamond one. I like the diamond one a lot. Look at it. It just looks so cool. There's so many different colors in this one too, which I'm not normally a fan of. But I just think because it's diamond, it looks cool anyway. And I like the pants the best. The pants and the helmet, they seem to match. Not so much the chest plate, but hey, I guess I'm not going to complain. It's something that I really do enjoy. Uh, so let's put all this back inside there. Um, do, do, do. So here we've got like the, the fire charge, the clock, the uh, map. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you guys the map. This is the map. So as you can see, the map is like old and distorted, and you can see the game, top left and bottom right, the cog style effect that they have used throughout this one. So yeah, that, that's the map. What else do we have in here? Um, I guess we can move, go away, piggy. In here, oh, we've got the, the, the weapons, the tools. So we've got the, the swords here. I'm going to grab as much as I can. Let me show you guys all of these. Oh, we've got the bow, which I haven't checked out. Let's check out the bow first. We've got an arrow as well. Let's check this out. So yeah, this is the bow. Let's have a look. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so this is the bow. I like it. I like it. Looks really cool. Uh, we've got the wooden sword, the stone sword, the iron sword, the gold sword, and the diamond sword. Something you guys will always enjoy is a diamond sword. Uh, and then the tools, you can see the rest of them. They, they are pretty much exactly the same in this one. They haven't changed each uh, set slightly different. Uh, this is the pickaxe. It's quite big. It looks, I don't know, it, it's quite big, this one, actually. Uh, it's very thin, though. I'm not a fan of the thin, the thin styled ones, but yep. Yeah. Moving on from that, I want to show you guys the animals uh, and all the creatures in here. Then we're going to go to the, the nether and then we're going to go to the end portal and check out the ender dragon. But first, like I said, this is the pumpkin. Uh, we're going to place it on the snow golem and an iron golem. So let me just grab one here. We're going to grab the pumpkin. Let's put the pumpkin on top. Oh, like so. And as you can see, oh, wow. That is epic. Hello, Mr. Iron Golem. Look at his eyes. Look at his... That is scary. He looks cool though. He looks like Bionicle, I don't know, Bionicle Iron Man. That is really, really nice. I like that a lot. That's cool. Nice job on that one. Uh, and then we've got the Snow Golem. Uh, again, he looks very creepy and scary. And if you look closely through, you can actually see the, the, the real head of a Snow Golem. Let's see if we can get inside of it. No, it's not going to let us, but yeah, that's the snow golem. Uh, now, moving into this one, I want to make sure these two are away because they'll start to attack some of the animals. Um, so in here, we've got creeper. We'll go through some of these first. So let's check out these. All right, so the first one we're going to check out is a cave spider. It's a cave spider. Look at his eyes. Look how big and bright his eyes are. His eye... Oh, God. The snow golem's trying to attack the spider. Uh, they can't get out of that, but that is... I like his back as well. It looks like a stone brick. Um, I don't know what effect that's gone for, but it looks nice. I like his eyes though. It looks like he's wearing goggles. Um, we've got an enderman. Oh, oh, look at it. Look at it. Look at what he's wearing. <laughs> look at his little eyes as well. He looks so happy. So there's the enderman. Uh, we've got a zombie pigman with his sword. Again, he looks kind of like Bionicle styled as well, like a metal man. Uh, you're going to see them all over the nevers as well. Uh, I don't want to spawn the guys out there. We spawn the, I want to spawn the guys a little bit away because these make so much noise and they're rather annoying. Um, so that is the guys. Oh, wow, look at his eyes. Look at his like dangly legs. It's a scary ghost. Hopefully he doesn't attack over here. Oh, what's that on the back? It's like a fan. So again, he's like metal as well. I want to make sure you get away. Don't, don't come anywhere near my house. Uh, we've got a slime ball. 
uh, sorry, as a, a, a spawn a slime. The little slime here. Let's try and spawn a big. Oh god, that's big. That's a big slime there. <laughs> it looks like a see-through chest. Uh, let's spawn a zombie. So this is the default zombie. Look at his eyes. You're not going to be uh, missing them when you do go traveling in Minecraft. You're going to see them everywhere. Uh, we've got the normal spider. Oh, it looks slightly different. It looks very similar to the to the to the Enderman. They look very same, apart from his face just looks blank. And he's just got one eye. Um, we got a skeleton here. These are gonna be something you're gonna see a lot as well. That is, looks like a definite Halloween styled skeleton. Uh, and then the creeper, which is my favorite. I just really, really love the creeper on this one. I think they've done a great job. I like his goggles. I just like the way he looks. Uh, he's plain, but his goggles just, they're so awesome. They, they definitely, that's definitely sold it for me with the creeper. Uh, so moving on from that one, we've got plenty more to check out here. We've got these ones. So let's check what we've got here. And it looks like the, uh, the iron golem's crazy because he wants to get in there and cause chaos. So we've got, the, I'll spawn these outside here. Some of these I can spawn outside here. So we've got the wolf. Which looks, oh wow, <laughs> look at him. I don't know what to say about him. There's just so many colors in this texture pack. Hello, don't don't hate me. He's got one like patched eye. Um, I like it, look at, his, look at his tail. Let me, let me, oh God, let me see your tail. Can I, there we go, look at his tail. <laughs> it looks really, really cool. Uh, let's go and check out the squid down in the water. I don't want to spawn him on land, because that's not fair. Um, so we've got the squid here. Oh, we're gonna have to, hopefully he'll make his way to the water. Look at his squid, look at him. Let's push him in. Go on, go. There we go, so that is the squid in this um, in this texture pack. Uh, moving on, we've got the uh, chicken. We've got the cow. The cow is like a, bon a bionicle machine. Um, I like it a lot, it's evil though, it's a really evil cow. Uh, <laughs> yeah, he really is evil, look at him. He's just made out of metal, metal, metal cow. Um, we've got the sheep. I'm not sure if the sheep is metal as well. Nope, this is like, has he got a, he's, he's got a cap on. He's got like a flying helmet on. You can just about see that there. Uh, I like his little uh, hooves as well, or whatever they're called. Um, moving on from that, we've got a pig. I'm trying to spawn them in their own area so you can see each one on its own. Um, so this is the piggy. He's got like a muzzle on. Is, it, does it, is that like a 3D effect? Oh yeah, the muzzle stands out as well. Uh, I like that, I like that one. So he's got like, is this like brain? Is that his brains you can see? Can you see the pig's brain? I don't know, that looks really cool. So we've got a magma uh, cube, we've got a blaze. I wanna try and stay away from them because they, they just cause chaos. So bye, Mr. Blaze. Uh, and we've got finally, in this one, we've got the crazy silver fish. This remind me of baby caterpillars. Uh, let's just try and not cause everything to be on fire. And we've got one more stack that we need to check out and then we can head to the nether and the, uh, the end. So we've got one, two, three. We've got, what have we got here? The spawner villager. Oh, we've got many villagers that we can spawn here. Hope it spawns different type. Oh, we even got we spawned a baby one too. So I'm not sure what this one is. Um, we've got a priest office and the ice cream bar went down my road. Uh, we've got here. Who is this one? We've got the butcher. We've got the priest again. It's the blacksmith. It is a farmer. Um, so yeah, it's, there's some of the villagers that you can see in Ozlot. So for you people who like enjoy cats around your house, this is what they look like. Uh, obviously, they'll be slightly different when you do tame them. I'm guessing that this is just a wild version of the Ozlot. And last but not least, we've got the Mushroom. Look at him. It's just a bionicle, different colored version of the cow that we had before. And this is on fire because where's that blaze gone? Blaze is causing us trouble, setting absolutely everything on fire. Um, so yeah, that's that's pretty much all the mobs and villages and creatures that you get in Minecraft apart from the Ender Dragon, which we will check out last. The saving the last, but I love this portal. I love the electricity effect. So let's go, let's go check out this portal. Let's go and see the Never Fortress. Let's go and see uh, what the blocks look like. And obviously the lava as well. I did place down lava, but this is, wow. I knew that, I knew the, uh, the block looked really cool, but not this cool. Um, I, there's the crazy guy there with, he's got like a fan on his back. Try, trying to find, there it is, there's the nether fortress. In fact, I want to show you guys what the, uh, hopefully we can find a spawner, a blaze spawner, so we can see what the spawners do look like as well. Um, any spawners around here would be grateful. Um, I want to see where they are, no, no, no. Oh, there it is, there's a spawner. So this is what the spawners do look like, and obviously the blazes are loud as well. But I like the fortress, but being honest, my favorite block 
in this texture pack, in this nether, is probably this block, which is obviously the uh, the netherrack, which looks cool as hell. It does super duper duper look cool, but I love glowstone as well. I always have loved glowstone on Minecraft. It looks great, it looks professional, and I kind of feel now I've lost where we get out of here. Um, which way was it? I can't remember. But the glowstone looks cool. I always enjoy glowstone on Minecraft because it's something that you use a lot to light up your house, uh, especially me. I love to keep uh, using the, the glowstone throughout my house. I think it's up here. Yes, it is. Um, but again, this is awesome. I like it a lot. Let's see if we can break. We can't break out, out here, can we? I don't think we can. Nope, I didn't think so. Uh, so yeah, let's go to the uh, find the ender dragon. Let's go and check out the ender dragon, something all you guys always want to see in this texture pack. But that's great. It's probably going to spawn us inside the Minecraft sign. It normally does um, because we're in the tutorial world. Let's see where it does spawn. Oh no, it spawned us here, which is great. Thank you. So last but not least, guys, we're going to go and find out what the ender dragon does look like. So three, two, one, let's go. All right, so we're entering the end. So this is the end stone and obviously we're standing on obsidian. The ender dragon is always evil. I, I can't get over how awesome the uh, the endermen do look. They just, they're just so creepy. I like what they're wearing. Definitely in preparation. Oh wow, look at the ender dragon. That is magnificent, look at him. He is crazy. Let's let's go to the middle. Uh, let's check out these portals actually. The the obviously generation for him. He's firing these at me. Don't do that. I want to see what he looks like when he comes down here because that is magnificent. I'm loving like the the glow effect that they've used on him. Um, I th let's let's check him out like this. Wait, 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 wait. Let's go to user interface so you guys can just get the main focus on him when he comes down here. Let's just break a few of these. It's gonna be loud. Oh, they're crazily loud. Let's break a few more. Let's hope he comes to the middle. Come on in. Come on, dude. I want to check. I want to show everyone what you look like. Come to the middle. There we go. So here is the Ender Dragon. As you can see, look at him. Look how crazy the Ender Dragon looks. Look at his eyes, look at his mouth, look at the colors they've used on him. He's like a bionicle Ender Dragon, and that is really loud. I'm, I do apologize if you guys can hear that. That is super duper 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 loud. Look at his, his paws and his feet as well. Um, <laughs> it's a really loud Ender Dragon. Um, and like obviously here as well on, the, on his neck. Oh wow, so you guys have got to check out this for yourself. It is only $1, which is like 79p in the UK. Um, it's definitely a massive bargain. I think they've done a great job in this. I wasn't even expecting a brand new texture pack. I was expecting to get the re-release of the Halloween texture packs, which we did get, but obviously I was expecting to see a skin pack, which I was very surprised that we didn't. But anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that like button. Have a great day. Bye.